Hi everyone. So this is the new video of the our coding playlist. So these are the question which mostly asked the interview question. So uh, we are working on those those uh, kind of the questions. So if you are new to this channel, so make sure you subscribe and uh, watch the all the videos which uh, would be helpful for you to for your job searching journey. So in this video, we will be seeing so another coding interview question. So. Here, this is the question which uh, one of the our subscribers shared with me. So he asked me to create an array and it will be having the string number of the values over there. And we have to find the max of it, each of the max and we have to return that. So you can see the input as a, we have the three string values in the input and we have to get the max from the each of the string. So this is the question he asked me to uh, do that. So. Uh, let's get started with it. Okay, so we have to we have to think about it first. So what are the steps we have to follow over here? Right, just two steps. Steps would be so we have to think about the steps first. So we can write the steps. So first step would be our uh, the comments kind of. Okay, so first step would be uh, get the each string with the split. So we have to split uh, with the help of this comma. So split the steps would be like this. So first, so first we have to think about it. So we have the array, okay, and uh, inside that array we'll having the string. So this string should be split, correct? So before uh, writing the code, we have to see what should we do over here. So we have to do one thing first. We have to split this string with from so that minus. Okay. So what it will done? It will return you the array of the each one. Okay. And on that we have to uh, iterate it. And then what we'll do? Then we will use Map dot max of the each array. Okay, so it will return us the max of the each array, whatever array we have over here. Correct. To uh, get that all data into the single element, we can use uh, multiple ways. We can do. We can push the maximized element, but uh, that should not be the correct way to do. So we can use a map and and we can the max value so this is the way we can get them the value okay so let's get started to writing the code okay so we have to get the output first okay to print it let me print it first so now so now we have to iterate on our array. Okay. So for that, what we do, we have to use array dot map array dot map. So it will return one by we can create an arrow function over here. We can write. So el is nothing but your string right now. Okay. So each string from the array. So before that, uh, writing this second step, we have to split it. So these are the steps to write this code. Okay. So what we can do, we can create let uh, output error. Let's uh, split error. Split error. Create a variable and split error equal to el dot split with minus. So now, if we print this, we will get the will be end of the code. So if we print this console dot split array, then you will find each of the values. Okay. So this is the third one because we have not written anything from this output. So uh, you can skip for this right now. So, but we are able to do our first step. We are splitting that array right now, correct? Whatever element we have. Okay. So now what we have to do, we have to pass this element to this array.math function. Okay. So that's it. We can do like that. So let me use this. 
metal torture and then let me pass it thank you and we will return the hazard mark it will throw an error one error for us that i need to show you okay okay so hi it is not returning the number now so if you are able to guess it so pause this video and uh, comment it let let me show you why it is not returning the values okay so what is happening over here we are passing our value let me remove this first so i can tell you we are passing our array okay over here but the method it the math dot max function it requires the string values okay so if you see here so it is accepting that value so if we can sp spread this so it will work like that. so this is the one way i wanted to show you let me go to spreadsheet okay so the output is now 6500 and 239 okay so this is the expected output of this question so these are the steps we have to do for this so make sure that you think about the approach your first note down that approach then try to write the code so in that way it will be easier to understand the interviewer as well and you can explain the code as well so what are the things your algorithm would be working and how you are thinking about it so it is easy to understand for you and the interviewer as well so if you anyway if you miss this functionality writing the code for the any example so at least you have logic what to do so at least he can interpret that what you are thinking about it so make sure that you do something kind of this so it will be easy for you to clear the interviews so in this video that's it that's it for this video i'll be creating another coding videos in the future so if you have any questions then you can ping us on the instagram so we can connect over there and i can help you over there as well